guys, welcome to Approved Weekly. We have had quite a busy time recently, especially where it's been the Eid holiday recently. But let's start today by embarrassing some of our girls. <laughs> I never introduced Barbie. Oh, hi, hi everyone. My name is Barbie. <laughs> so Barbie started with little Jen behind <laughs> two, three weeks ago. And these are our wonderful showroom hosts. How is it so far? Yeah, it's been really fun. How's I'm, working at Approved? He's work, working with Approved. It. It's so good. Everyone is so can't nice. See, you can't see I'm holding a gun to her back behind here to make sure she says nice things. <laughs> yeah, so everything been really good so far the team is wonderful i got so much support so it's been really nice good good <laughs> good i'm rama what do you guys talk about what do you want to talk about um i just want to say working at approved helped me a lot in <laughs> developing I don't know if you're being serious or no i am <laughs> no i am because i remember when i first joined you can see the first videos that i ever did i was super shy but now i'm like a lot better at speaking to the camera this is the proof this is the proof, she's correct, you're doing it first time. Let's go and get some of our other colleagues to talk about today. Thank you, girls. Hi. <laughs> I'm always doing this to Diogo. Diogo. Was that sarcastic? You're not even wearing a microphone, so sorry I'm about not, that. I'm not wearing a mic. I'm not wearing a mic. You've got me for five minutes. Should we attack someone else? You should attack someone else. We have, unfortunately, our boss is needing me in the next five, ten minutes. Who's the boss? Uh, Luke's the boss. He doesn't like getting involved in videos, though, so you could probably go and antagonise him. We'll catch him. Where is he? He's not even up there. We He's could have zoomed in on his office. Videos, so <laughs> oh, but let's talk about this. I'll leave you to it. Yes. We have done, I don't have many hands, so many coloured PPFs recently not only in our approved detailing through our retail clients but also from the showroom itself so we'll drop some little shots in as i'm talking about this but we've done a wonderful 911 carrera recently through the showroom we did a gt53 and then through detailing we did a kn and we made them i think green purple and gold so you'll have to check those videos out and also whilst we're on the subject of that if i just turn the camera around Guys, we have a real life customer here who has just had their tint on their brand new Renault Megane. Oh, Tim, sorry. We'll have to put in a shot there. Tell us about yeah, the tint. Friends. Tell us about the tint from a client perspective. From the client perspective, I usually have the 70% tint on my previous car. It's super dark from outside. Same goes for inside. And yesterday at night time when I was driving my Megane RS, I was super shocked. I'm amazed with the quality which Approve is giving. That was super clear, super nice. So all thanks goes to Abby. <laughs> so you've probably heard me bang on a lot about the window tin, and now you see for yourself. I think people find it hard to believe that a high quality tin, yes, is a lot more expensive than like the two three hundred dint tear and dents that you get in the car park of places certain uh, certain uh, low standard um, metallic tints but our tint is so high quality and now Bilal has experienced it for himself yeah even my brother was shocked I told him it's 70% he was like oh is it really is 70% I said yeah he said from inside it looked like 30% and from outside it's yeah it's super dark from outside it's so good so for the privacy come check out our summer offer we actually have 20% off currently on our tint yeah definitely 100%. My favorite Indians, where are you going? No, he's really making an excuse about a customer, but really he's just making an excuse whatever he does. Maya, you're my second favorite Indian. I, I thought <laughs> I'm your favorite. You're always my favorite, but only when the other one's not looking. Yeah. How are you? I am good. Have you been busy since yeah. you've been back? Yeah, I'm very busy. We have a lot of new cars and we have some very cool and new inventory for you guys so whenever you guys have chance come visit check our new stock i think in our video next week you can take me outside and show me all the stuff down the side of what's coming yeah, sure. in yeah yeah we did it a few weeks ago i don't know if you saw that video yeah i've seen that video. yeah and uh it's all changed now but there's just as much going on so yeah. it's all very very busy so have you guys seen our new tvs by the way I shouldn't be showing you this part. 
Uh, we bought some new TVs because uh, it's important for clients to see our day-to-day -day workings here um, in terms of not only what's going on in our detailing, because of course it's very difficult to explain um, clear PPF, what PPF is, until you're actually showing someone so we can have it on in the background here, but also to see the goings on day to day approved because we don't just want to be a place where somebody comes to buy a car. I know literally that's what we are. However, um, we want to be a community and a place that people can come, they can feel comfortable. You know, not all places are comfortable to walk in, especially like a big place like this. Um, so if you see what video is going to play here, let's see. Oh, it's one of our recent ones. There I am on TV. Um, so we play it so you can see our recent goings on to give you an idea of what we're all about as well. Not only as a business, but as people. Get the Ogo to. When Diogo's finished doing some actual work, we can uh, see if we can uh, get him on to talk about what we sold this week. So I've got Diogo here with me now for a little bit more of a serious chat. Yeah. We're having a good week so far? Having a very good week. Even though it's been Eid, so we've actually been closed for a yeah, few days. Eid is, well, we haven't technically. Uh, not closed, skeleton hours. Don't listen to it. Yeah, I don't yeah. know why I said that. Skeleton hours, most showrooms here are closed. Yeah, but we kind of had skeleton staff, so we still had people in, and actually we sold we sold three cars over each, so yeah. you know, proved that staying open sometimes does reap some benefits. I think know. it can be quite unpredictable, like I was working on Saturday, and technically that was an Eid day, and that day there wasn't a lot going on at all. No. Um, but for the other days, more positive? Very positive, plus it's super hot as well, right? Yeah. So it's so hot in Dubai just now, so um, yeah, I think a lot of people will be doing some other things rather than buying cars but we've had a very good start to this morning okay we sold three cars this morning already and it's only what 10 to, to one. one 10 to one 12 minutes to <laughs> we'll one agree to, to disagree i think it's like 47 48 <laughs> so yeah i mean we've had a really good morning yeah no it's it's really really good just now I and mean, there's a lot of exciting things happening so yeah it's good what really did good. you sell though we've sold a g-wagon we've sold an alfa romeo julia and we have sold uh G-Wagon, Alfa Romeo and a uh, Range Rover. We've been five, so two, busy, five, couldn't even remember. That so, yeah, was the first one I couldn't remember, but yeah, three cars this morning. Is you that know, the white one? The white one, yeah. Nice. So yeah, super exciting. We've got a lot, lot, lots more to go and we've got a weekend coming up as well. So uh, we're just doing some pricing exercises, which is why I told Abby earlier on I was kind of busy. So um, yeah, we're getting some pricing exercises done. So we generate more inquiries, get some appointments, get people to come and have a look at all our cars because it's exciting yeah, times, right? It's crazy. We've Look at all the cars we've got. We've actually never been so busy. I mean, we've got so many cars just now in the showroom. We've got about 130 cars in stock just 130. now. 130? Which is The other day it was crazy. like 100. Yeah, again, it's the boss's fault. But this is technically good. Are they falling part, out of the right? sky? Well, I don't know what he's doing or where he's getting them from, right? But we're getting <laughs> more and more cars. So, uh, yeah, it's exciting for the sales guys. It's exciting for us because it's super busy. I mean, we're every, t every time we're trying to move the showroom to, to get more room and... Yeah, we just can't seem to get more room, you know. And so. whilst we're on it, what about the warranty we've got on every single one of those cars you've yes, just mentioned? And actually, just to give you an idea, the Alpha Julia that we've just sold, our Alpha Romeo Julia, uh, the customer actually mentioned to us that he's never seen that before. He's never seen cars come in standard with a two-year warranty. He actually took advantage. Standard. Standard. Uh, <laughs> he actually took advantage of the three-year warranty. So we've actually done him a deal, not only with a two-year warranty, but we upsold him, or he technically took the three-year warranty. So. And it's all about peace of mind, right? To get a used car, although our used cars are prepped to this kind of standard, both from a cosmetic perspective as well as a, a mechanical perspective, he said that to have that peace of mind of having a three-year warranty in a vehicle is, is massive. And, you know, it's something that you you don't get anywhere else in any other showroom in, in Dubai. So, yeah, he's just bought himself a used, a used uh, Alpha with a three-year warranty. So, yeah. And believe us when we say all of that stuff, it sounds standard, but actually the the lack of standard, what we consider standard things here, like being cosmetically prepared, like being mechanically inspected, plus the warranty we've just mentioned, that's not normal here. So this is always above and beyond. So, yeah. you know, but at the same time, the cars are competitively priced, but the client needs to know that we're straight to the point in terms of preparation. The car should be technically ready to go on the road, prepared correctly, warranted correctly um, and also the after sales as well if you do have any issues with the car um, you know we're there to support with the warranty as well you know we're not just gonna turn our backs another thing that's not standard here to be honest not in this country unfortunately yeah and look I think a lot of people sometimes think that our you know videos photos all these kind of things are edited right but I mean 
but I'll show you around the cars just now. All our cars are literally immaculate. You know, there's they are in such condition. Sometimes I actually have to pinch myself to realise the condition that our cars are in, right? Pinch, pinch. Oh, Whoa. I thought you were gonna go out. Ow. Ow. <laughs> uh, but no, they're It's real. They're it's real, it's not a dream. They're, they're genuinely in amazing condition, guys, right? And you know, one of the things I ask my guys to do in, in my team is when, when you inquire on one, one of our vehicles, right, what we actually do is we send you a video of the car, right? Now again, not standard, right? But I asked my sales team to send you a detailed video of the vehicle so that you can see that our videos aren't, uh, our photos aren't edited. The cars are the condition that they, that we say they are in, right? I mean, again, we can have, we've got a Porsche there just now, a uh, 2001 Porsche, which is literally in new condition, right? And that's to be able to show you that because, you know, there's a lot of skepticism and people sometimes feel like they're skeptical about what kind of condition the cars are in. So we like to show you that so that then you come in and see the, the vehicles. So yeah, trust trust me when I say that when you come in to visit us, you are not gonna go like, oh, this isn't what I expected. Trust me, when, when you come in, you're gonna see exactly what our adverts look like and what our videos that, you know, Bilal and Abby do of the vehicles. So, yeah, you won't be uh, you won't be catfished, as they say. And what we're going to do next time, I was just saying with Maya, we're going to have a look and show everyone what we've got down the side of the building, waiting to be prepared as well. Yeah. Because it's absolutely just Ramp. is yeah, it's Chock just it's just like constantly turning, um, but always turning to the same standard. We've used this word standard a million times, but it's above standard here. It's above standard. Um, so you're going to join us next time for walking down the side with us helping yeah, us for sure yeah. i'm going to go for this uh, for this meeting and then in the next weekly we will uh, we will show you kind of what we've got around the side and what we've got going around the business because it is 100 miles an hour just now right 100 miles the, an day, hour. the day just goes so quickly i mean i, I genuinely feels like just earlier on it was nine o'clock but now it's one o'clock yes it's just there's not enough time in the day to do what we need to do right so so guys Please join us next time for this. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.